Hi everybody, this is Osprey I from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at some of the stocks that were in play today. Yeah, today there, there was quite a few stocks that were running. Um, it was a big day for uh, a lot of stocks. There, there were quite a few stocks that were up. Um, you know, the, the, the first one that I want to take a look at for everyone is OHGI. Uh, th this, this was the big winner on the day. As you can see over here, it did close up 185%. So congrats, everybody. Uh, RSI and Fasto are both at overbought levels. You had a bullish crossover on ADX here. And, and so there was a big uh, bullish breakout today above all the moving averages. Um, you can see it was holding the 100-day simple moving average down here to dollar. It broke out above the 50, the, the uh, 200, the 20 and the 300 day simple moving averages. It closed above the upper Bollinger Band, which is at 214. If the candles do work back into the bands, EMA4 at 187 is the first support level. And then your first uh, high close uh, horizontal support level is going to be down here at about 162. So so if you look here at average daily volume, um, it is very low for this stock. And uh, yeah, what you do when you get a big parabolic spike like this, you look at previous volume spikes and at the, at the pattern. That, that they tend to have, you know, red candle followed this one. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Um, if you look at the OHGI uh, weekly chart, um, this is going to show you the, the key break this week above the 100 week moving average that, that's currently at 264. That's the gold line here. And so that's the key level to hold tomorrow. You want to see the share price stay above that level. If it drops below 264, that's going to signal that that, that that level is turning into resistance. You want to see it close above that for the week. This week's candle is going to set it on the closing bell tomorrow. And so a close above that level will signal more upside. Now, if you look back here, in uh, 2015, there was a close above the 100-week moving average. That failed to hold, and it pulled back. And you can see how long the downtrend lasted, a multi-year downtrend. And so this is trying to reverse this multi-year downtrend, and, and it has a new uptrend going. You know, it turned the middle Bollinger Band into support. You know, it bounced off the middle Bollinger Band. It's above the 50-week moving average. Now it needs to turn that 200-week moving average. If it does, then, then you know, eventually it could work its way up to the 200-week uh, uh, moving average. Uh, currently, you, you know, you've got the high close resistance to close above for the week, which is the uh, closing price here from uh, December 2016. So, so yeah, you want to see a close above that level as well. So we'll be watching tomorrow to see if it can stay above that 100-week moving average. Let's take a look at IMUC. Okay, so this had the big news uh, yesterday after hours, and then it had the uh, gap up open today, and then it, it ran to high of day. As you can see here, it ran up to high of day. It formed, and then it pulled back and it formed that upper wick and that was your signal that, that people were locking in profits and then once it got below the opening price which was here at 50 cents and the black candle started forming that was your signal to, if you didn't lock in the high of day gains to jump on the sidelines if you're a trader because you know it signaled downside risk once you get the giant gap up open and the black candle forming our, our strategy just is just go to the sidelines and look for a new, re, re, uh, new entry point as the candles are working their way into the bands here you can see the upper Bollinger Band at 30 39, you know, it bounced off of that level. If it gets back into the bands, you have the 50 and 100 day simple moving averages at 33 and 34. Those are the key levels to hold. Notice there was a big volume spike today, but the uh, spike, the big spike down here, I'll show you real quick, just so you know what I'm talking about. Um, it, it, what it, what happens is, is it's, it, it's a sign that they're dumping shares of dilution and, and you can spot it uh, on an indicator's accumulation distribution and uh, shaken money flow. And so look at it, the share price is up 82% on the day. You know, it closed well above all these moving averages on a giant volume spike. And so you would expect accumulation distribution to be spiking up. You would expect a big spike up on shaking money flow. This thing's up over 80%. It had a giant move. But no, look at the big, it fell off a freaking cliff. Look at that. You know what that means? Major dilution. They were dumping heavy. That's why we jumped to the sidelines. Don't, don't help them. You know, don't, you know what I mean? You just got to be smarter. You got to stay one step ahead. Okay, so the IMUC, uh, um, let's see, this is another daily chart here that I wanted to show you. And, and so I want to show you this one. This is one that we've been working on because you can see here what happened. It came up. It had the gap up open. It didn't quite hit the um, th that, that, that uh, uh, opening price here, that 60 cents level. But, but it, what happened was is it pulled back below the, this prior gap. You can see the gap here. And, and so it dropped below the, the, the top of the gap level which is uh, the bottom of this candle. And then also it dropped below the October resistance. 
So look at the double top resistance. You know, that's not what bulls want to see. It has to close above that level. You know, this isn't the move that everybody's looking for. So in order for, you know, it's back in this channel. You know, it just worked its way. And now it's just at the top of this multi-month sideways channel. It hasn't broken out of the channel yet. It has to get above that key October resistance level to break out higher. It's really, really stubborn. Um, it, it, it's right here in the 40s. Um, you know, if you see a break and a close above that level, then we're shooting for a run up here to the bottom of the gap at 70 cents. You don't have to get it above 60, but but this could easily run to 70 if it can get above this, this 40, 45 uh, resistance resistance zone. So keep an eye on uh, keep an eye on IMUC. We're going to see what it can do here. Now, now notice how we, we we timed the like the first 15 minutes, you know, the open of the day. We put out alerts in the chat that, that this was maxing out and people were locking in gains. And, and, and so if you're in the chat, which I'll post the link at the bot at the end of the video, you know, you'll get these alerts. It's well worth it. It's only 50 cents a day, 50 cents to 60 cents a day. It, it's nothing, okay, for, for getting an alert to tell you, yeah, locking gains here. And, and, and at 55, you're going to save that 20 bucks, 15 bucks a month but by getting the, the the good entry and exit points by being in the chat and being engaged now the candles worked back into the bands here and notice how when they worked back into the bands that they, they, they were working on holding this middle Bollinger, Bollinger band support level and so that is the big level to hold and, and so notice this had the climax spike right at the open notice the big biggest volume spike of the day and the long upper wick from high of day followed by a red candle this is lock them in and then notice it was the high and so now we're looking for a potential re-entry if it can break above resistance um, it has to get above 41 the middle Bollinger Band here at 41 that's the key level to get back above if it drops below 39 that's going to signal downside risk you know this 44 resistance zone is a big level and then the really big one is up here on the high close level so 49 so if it can get above the 40, uh, 44 to 45 level it should run up to 49 and then uh, if candles start forming above 49 on the 15 minute chart that's going to signal it's ready to head higher if it drops below 39, that's going to signal downside risk, and that's going to put this 50 simple moving average at 32 on deck. Okay, let's look at CXRX. Okay, this closed up 61% today. Really nice move. Um, so yeah, we put out alerts that that um, you know it had this technical development that was happening, and, and um, you know we, we invited people to come check out our chat, and they would have seen this chart here where, where it came up, and we 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 uh, identified the gap here, and so when there's a gap, you, you look to lock and gains on the gap fill and that's exactly what happened here look at the upper wick the, the share price came up filled the gap we put out alerts gap fill and then you know people that that you know people were able to lock in the high of day gains and so after a multi-day run look down here at the volume bars they're, they're, this is a four-day run okay and look each day there's more volume and then boom giant volume spike today so this could be a climax spike it, it has all the recipes you know it has the whole setup of a climax spike now it could push higher and if it does push higher, that would be fantastic. And so what we're looking for is a break above this uh, 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 top of the gap resistance zone at about 92. And then if it can get above that, then the big level to break is this 100-day simple moving average at 98. If it, if it can get above 98, close above that level, then that's going to continue the run. That's going to signal that it wants to head higher. That, that's going to signal dollar land. And we'll be looking at a run up to $1.24. If it fails to break above the bottom of the gap, notice how it pulled down below the bottom of the gap. That's a signal that it's resistance. It needs to get above that level. If it can get above that level, then that would be wonderful. If it fails to break that level, then the candles could work back into the bands. And, and the downside risk is that you have the 50-day simple moving average in EMA4 and the upper Bollinger Band all converging between 66 and 68. And that is the first major support level below. And so that's why people were playing it cautious and uh, locking in gains and going to the sidelines on this move. The, the, the break was well above the upper Bollinger Band. There could be a gap down open. You never know. It always plays safe. You know, you never go broke if you lock in profits okay so so the chart is still bullish here on the 15 minute chart for cxrx so uh you know it had the climax spike it did pull back but but the chart held up and so this is still very bullish you know as long as the market makers don't play the game like they did with aemd today and they gapped it down on the open for no no reason um you know it had a strong chart into the close and then boom they gapped it down like 10 percent or so uh, or, or or more right 
down to the middle Bollinger Band on the 15 minute chart and then it worked on trying to hold that and then it broke down and so that that's the risk here on this chart now now it, 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 the chart's strong and it was signaling into the close that 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 the 15 minute chart was still healthy and to keep riding and so as long as candles are above EMAs four and eight you know that the, it's not signaling to exit we were just trying to time that top trying to time that high of day and using the other charts a, a, as indicators that this could be a top but we're ready to jump back in if it breaks above 88 the signal is going to be to go back for another ride and jump back in this thing. It, it, you could have been holding this overnight and, and that, that was still the, the right signal. Just you have to be ready for it to break down since the other charts, you know, since this chart is signaling that, that, that it's hitting major resistance, you know, you ha if you held overnight, which, which since the chart was still bullish, you know, that, that's not necessarily, you know, the wrong call, but, but, you know, the gap fill is always a climax event for us. But, but, but the strategy is that, that if you are riding, it has to break above eight. If it fails to break above 88, then it could pull back all the way down to 72. If it jumps in, you know, above 88, then that's going to signal to take that ride up to Dollarland tomorrow. So we'll just have to see. You have to play it smart, and you got to ride that. That you know, follow those intraday charts. Okay, let's look at AMPE here. It, it closed up 33%. So so it's breaking out. Um, notice how it has the beautiful uptrend. People are always saying, you know, well, God, I just got to find a chart just to stick my money in, and just got to like just ride it for a while, so I'm not looking at the chart all day. Well, this is the kind of chart that you're looking for you're looking for a very strong uptrend the trend is your friend once the 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 candles broke above the moving averages in the first week of October um, th this was a signal that that it was on uh, you know breaking out higher and, and ready to cruise it, it, it got above all the moving average the 50 the 100 the 200 and the 300 day simple moving averages in the middle Bollinger Band which is the 20 day simple moving average and it started writing EMAs four and eight support higher holding the middle Bollinger Band on the pullbacks that's exactly what happened here again and now it's busting out through the upper Bollinger Band. Notice the upper wick on today's candle. That does show profit taking. This was on a, a, a multi-day run and then you have the big volume. So so it has to push higher. What what, you, what needs to happen is the the high close resistance level which was the closing price here uh, on the uh, 23rd of November. That, that, that $2 level needs to hold. If it can stay above $2 it's going to signal that it wants to break out higher. If it drops below 2 then it could uh, pull back down and test that middle Bollinger Band. Now, you can see here, when a stock's breaking out, what you have to do is you have to look at other time frames to, 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 to find resistance. You have to look out further on the chart. And so what we did is we looked at a multi-year uh, weekly chart here. And, and as you can see, it's hitting major resistance. It's it's bumping up against the 200-week moving average here at 250. If it can bust above 250, then the next level to break is going to be the 300-week moving average at $3. Notice the last time it got up here back in 2016, it was able to close above both levels. So it could push through there. If it fails to break above that, the, uh, the 200 week moving average 250 this week, you know, that could signal temporary resistance and it could pull back to test EMA4. Notice how the candles ever since September when there was a close above the middle Bollinger Band, that's the dot of purple line, the candles have been riding EMAs 4 and 8 support higher. The, you know, there was a slight close below EMA4, but the, there, the, it's been no closes below EMA4 except for the, the first week of December right at that level the entire freaking time. So this is a great, 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 great swing trade chart. You know, you just keep riding. Now it's hitting resistance. This is signaling to lock in gains if it fails to break above. Now, if it can break above the $250 to $3 resistance zone and turn into support, that's going to signal it wants to break out higher. Okay, look at G A L E. Okay, the chart's heating up. You've got RSI now at 57. It's in the bull zone. Fasto's back above 80. So for this chart, there's one thing and one thing only that that matters, and that's this green line, the magical green line, the 50-day simple moving average. And so it needs to close above that level. Once there's a close above that level, that's going to be the signal to us that 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 it, it wants to push higher. And then we're going to be looking at a run up here to the 100-day simple moving average at 36. It needs to get above both moving averages to break out higher you know th th there's been multiple green volume bars in a row you know six green volume bars in a row it's been setting up here there's a piece our bull flip it finally you know is trying to break above resistance as you can see today the close above the top of this channel um, so, so you can see it was in a sideways channel here and then whenever you have a sideways channel what you do is you draw a trend line across the top of the channel and across the bottom of the channel and you box it in and then if there's a break below the bottom of the channel that signals that it's breaking down and when there's a 
close above. It's all about the close. When there's a close above, that's finally the signal, okay, this thing wants to head higher. That's what it's telling us here. Notice how uh, on multiple attempts, it never closed above. Finally closing above, that's the green light. We just go by the signals. So if it can get above that 50-day simple moving average, then we're going to look to ride this higher. If it fails to break that level, that'll signal it's not ready and, and it in further consolidation. Okay, let's look at OHRP here. It has a very nice uptrend going. We like good uptrends. The, like I said, the trend is your friend. It's so much easier. The new traders like to play uh, dead cat bounces and they like to chase stocks that are like falling, that they think they're getting a bargain. But, but you're way better off trying to ride a strong uptrend than you are trying to catch a falling knife. It's It sounds so freaking simple, but it's one of the biggest rookie mistakes. So just think about that. It's not about wh where the stock has been. It's about where it's headed. And this stock, OHRP, is headed higher. Look at this chart. It's pushing. It's breaking out higher. Today, it broke out. Okay, so it's it's riding above EMA4. It got above the 300-day simple moving average. This, this stock is trading above all the moving averages on the daily chart, and it's riding EMA4 resistance higher, and it broke out to a new level. That's that's what we say. It's as bullish as it gets. I mean, this is as bullish as it gets. So you just have to freaking play the charts. So when a stock is breaking out and it's it's like making you know new, uh, 50, you know it looks like it's it looks like a 52 week high here. Yeah, it is. It made the new 52 week high this week. And, and so you, you, th that's when you bust out the weekly chart and you have to go out further to find resistance. And look how magic it is right here. Now we see clearly where this has to break. It has to get above the 100 week moving average at 187. If it fails to break that level, that's going to signal a temporary top. Notice it has, it's been on a multi-week run. Um, it, it, it's hitting a key resistance level. Look at all these dojis right here, how there are multiple dojis, how this was a big support level and then it broke. The, the, a close above that level, this 155 zone for the week, would be extremely bullish. That would signal that it wants to push higher. You know, w once this got above the 50-week moving average, it, it, it really signaled it wanted to head higher. Now, if it could do the same thing with the 100-week with the moving average you could be talking about a run back up here and to you know test that three to four dollar range okay let's look at pvct and keep in mind if it hits the 100 week moving average and it fails to break that signals a temporary top it, it, you know, you could see a pull back and test EMA4. As long as EMA4 is holding, it's signaling to you just keep riding if you're a longer term swing trader. That's the kind of chart you're looking for. You're looking for the really bullish weekly chart if you're looking for longer term holds. Okay, look at PVCT here. Okay, it closed up 43% today. Um, you know, th this stock used to be a big board stock and, and we still follow them when they drop to the OTC because the, uh, many times they'll still turn into good plays. And that's what happened here. This had the tight Bollinger Bands, you know, the classic uh, tight sideways channel that I was just talking about. And, um, you know, it, it, it was trading in a, in, a, in a range for quite some time. And when that happens and you get, a, 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 I'm sorry, I haven't been putting the resistance lines as red, but I think you get what I'm saying about, uh, uh, you know, when I make the channels. And, and so the, this has been in this tight sideways channel. And then finally today, there's a break above. When you finally get a break above, especially on a volume spike, that signals more upside potential. There was a pullback from high day that did show some profit taking but what we need to do is we need to look further out on the chart and so we're going to take a look at the weekly chart here and as you can see on the weekly chart it is breaking out this week notice how it, it, it's it's turned this 50 week moving average the green line and the middle Bollinger Band into support and, and right now it's struggling with this March high close see notice how I always draw in the horizontal resistance line it's very key the, 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 the these patterns keep repeating over and over and, and, and so this was support back here in October it came down, came back up into March of 2016. That was October of 2016. It came down in 2017, and it, and it uh, retested the level, but it failed to break, you know, and it tried it again in April, failed to break, and so now it's back at that level. This is a crucial level, huge, huge level for the stock. If you can see a close above this key resistance zone, above both these red lines for the week, remember this chart, this candle for this week will not set until the closing bell on Friday, and if it doesn't close this week and it closes next week, that's going to signal it wants to break out higher. And what we're looking for with this stock, if that happens, is a run up to the 100 week moving average at 14.4. Okay, let's look at RCGR. Okay, this was a big winner today. You know, it was alerted in our chat by another member um, early in the morning. Um, you know, I, I caught on to it when it was at 20 cents. 
so it was way down here at 20 cents and I did put out alerts and I put out alerts in the chat and we have an OTC chat and what I do is I try to uh, uh, spread out the information into different categories so you can what I recommend when you go on to the uh, our, our app is to constantly be uh, looking at the different chats for updates because I'm breaking it down and putting alerts on all these different sectors and different types of plays and trying to make the uh, information uh, readily available to you and accessible so it helps to, to you know we're constantly come up with plays all throughout the day so it helps if you keep checking regularly and that's how you know that, that's how it works in the markets you never know when opportunity is going to strike rcgr uh, struck this morning it was at 20 cents notice how it ran up to a dollar five that's in one day you know that's why people love the penny stocks 500 percent gain in one day theoretically could have been achieved if you jumped in at the start and uh you know sold a thousand percent gain if you got in down here at 10 cents but you know we were in there at 20 with the alerts and then if you look here out on a on a one year chart what you can see here with rcgr it, it, it is it's hitting this key resistance zone here you know it, it pulled back down into the seven sixty to 80 resistance zone it looks like 70 75 is a really big resistance zone for for the stock if you can see a close above this level above 80 you know if it's if it closes above this 80 level for the week that's going to be really bullish and then if it can get above dollar it could really get moving so keep an eye on rcgr and keep in mind this is just one play we we literally do otc scans every day and we're coming up with the best otc plays every day and putting an alerts on them it, we know how to find them and so it's really easy for us to find good plays and we'll teach you how to do that as well so come check out our chat all right, thanks for viewing this video. I'll post the link at the bottom of the YouTube video. Thank you.